In this video, I will show you how to perform the menu overload glitch in Breath of the Wild. This glitch has many applications, but today I will show you four of them, starting with the most simple and going up in difficulty. Before we look into some uses though, I should show you how to actually do the glitch. First, gather some multi-shot bows. The amount that you need varies, but five is usually good. Equip shock arrows, then pull out a multi-shot bow. Go into your inventory and drop the bow you are using. Then equip a different bow and pull it out. Repeat this until Link's model looks messed up in the menu. This is how you know you have activated the glitch. Have you ever wanted to dye your clothes but the materials for it were just too expensive? If so, then this use of the overload glitch will be useful to you. First, travel to the Hateno Village dye shop. There, perform the menu overload glitch. All you have to do now is hold five random items, preferably cheap, Talk to Sage and pick a color. On this screen, just pick any item. It really doesn't matter because you are already holding five things. Last, enjoy your new outfit. Before you do this next glitch, make sure you have a piece of Royal Guard equipment. If you are not sure where to find it, head to the library in Hyrule Castle and use Magnesis on this bookshelf. A hidden room will reveal itself. In this hidden room is a Royal Guard's shield. Now you are ready to do the glitch. Head to the Riverside Stable where the NPC Parsi is waiting for you. Usually you trade her Royal Guards equipment for gems, but this glitch allows you to not give her the equipment but she still gives you the gem. This essentially means that you can get infinite rupees. Step 1. Make sure you are not holding the Royal Guards equipment and do the menu overload glitch. Step 2. In your inventory, switch to the Royal Guards equipment. If Link is not holding the Royal Guards equipment in the overworld, you are good to start the next step. If not, do the glitch again. Step 3. Talk to Parsi and tell her that you want to trade. Do this as many times as you like. You will just get more and more gems from her. Step 4. Sell a bunch of gems to a merchant. Beetles at the stable so you can sell them to him. I sold 54 topaz and got 10,000 rupees. <laughs> If you try this next glitch, you should have a piece of high durability equipment. I recommend getting the Hylian shield from Hyrule Castle. Or if you got the shield before and it broke, you can talk to Grante in Terrytown and buy the shield for 3,000 rupees. Good thing we got 10,000 earlier. To do the glitch, you need to have the high durability weapon equipped. You will be transferring the durability of this weapon to a different weapon. I used the Royal Guard's shield I got earlier for this. First, overload your menu. Then, switch your equipment to the low durability one. If Link is not holding the weak weapon, you can do the next step. If not, try again. You then need to damage the equipment. I shield surfed for this. Now your equipment has more durability. A remote bomb does 30 damage to a shield. Look how many hits my Royal Guard's shield can take now. This next glitch will let you duplicate equipment. For this, you need a way to disarm yourself. If you are duplicating a weapon, you need to simply throw it. If it is a wand, korok leaf, shield, or bow, it is more complicated. You could build a shock trap. If you want to know how, check out our other video, 5 Advanced Combat Techniques in Breath of the Wild. To perform this glitch, equip what you need to duplicate. In this case, the Hylian shield. Then, overload your menu. You then need to disarm Link. I shocked myself. Just pick up the weapon after that. You can do this over and over. Voila! Four Hylian Shields. If you watched this far in the video, you probably like our content. So subscribe for more and hit the notifications bell so you can be notified when we make a new video. But for now, goodbye.